I go and hope for only these last few days of the by-election for a couple of reasons. One, because we have a phenomenally good candidate in Katie Loudon, who's working hard, talking to people every hour of every day as, as much as she possibly can. But the second reason why I go in hopeful is because I know the people of Rutherglen and Hamilton West have now a very stark choice. They either can vote for Keir Starmer's man here in Scotland, and they've already, of course, Labour taken this vote for granted, they've already decided they've won this by-election, or they have a choice of the alternative, they have a choice of Katie Loudon, who will only take her orders from the people of Rutherglen and Hamilton West and stand up for the matters, the, the issues that matter to them, predominantly battling against that Westminster cost of living crisis that has caused so much misery to so many people in this constituency. Well, look, I don't, I don't ever hypothecate uh, on loss. I've been in many, involved in many elections, by-elections, some we've won, some we've lost. There's no doubt that the context of this by-election is challenging. It's been well rehearsed over the past few weeks and months, the, the particular context of this uh, seat. But having been here for many weeks, many months, in fact, knocking doors with the team, there is support, plenty of support, strong support for the SNP, and it could well come down to, on the day, making sure that we get that vote uh, out, motivate them, uh, and that's what we'll be concentrating on in the next few days, that get out the vote operation ahead of Thursday.